Hi, my name is Denise from Interview TV and I'd like you to welcome you to the Tech Talks. Today about the digitalization of the construction industry and construction software. And of course, with me are two experts, two guests virtually in the Interview TV studio. And I'd like to welcome Katie, Catherine Broder and Christian Luttenberger from Hexagon. Hi, hello. Hi. Hello. So everybody is connected and can hear and see me. This is perfect. So I'd like to introduce you. Catherine Broder or Katie is Vice President Building Solutions at Hexagon Geosystems. And Christian Luttenberger is Vice President um, Hexagon Geosystems for Heavy Construction. And uh, yeah. We have a challenging global situation. The pandemic um, is really um, accelerating the digitalization of many, many industries and of course also the construction industry. So when we look at the situation, so what is the current state of this industry? From a construction side, um, I would like to say that despite the difficult situation, we have seen quite some activities in many markets and uh, even in the so-called lockdown time, we have seen that there were businesses and uh, construction projects continuing. And uh, especially also during the summer season where typically it's vacation time, there have been companies and markets that have been proceeding with their projects. Recently, we've also seen some new projects starting, although there I would say it's still not very clear how the funding and the project planning will be. But in overall, I would say it's um, carefully optimistic. Okay, so what is your view on the current situation, uh, Christian? Yeah, it's also still optimistic. I mean, of course, there is a lot of uncertainty in the market, uh, but um, how um, construction or how um, a construction site is operated, that hasn't, that hasn't changed a lot um, now also during this situation. Um, it's still the same that uh, one of our clients used to say, our customers used to say, you make the money in the in the office and you lose it in the field. Uh, so right now, it's still is, is, uh, the same that the challenge in heavy construction today is that all the tasks and also the 3D models they need to work on uh, do get more and more complex. Uh, so we will come to that later on, and that's what the, all the talk will be about. Our industry is still looking for new technologies so that they uh, can build on time, on budget and on specification um, to secure their margins and profitability on a construction site um, in the end. So that hasn't changed a lot since the last couple of years. Okay, so um, what actually is, um, how is Hexagon helping um, to support this industry during the situation? Yeah, um, I mean, I mean, for us, we we try to continue to develop solutions and uh, new technologies for our customers, because to be able to build on time, um, on budget, and on specification on a construction site, it is not new that our customers are already using from us um, more and more technologies like um, on total stations, drones, or even now scanners to generate point clouds. Uh, to be able to manage uh, um, the workflow on a construction site better. Um, now, more and more, we are also talking about um, of a digitalization of a construction site, uh, which is very similar to the Industry 4.0 idea or the BIM idea or approach, so the building information approach. Um, digitalization will help us to better define, execute and verify the job in between various resources and phases uh, on a construction site. Whether we will design a ditch, um, grading a surface, changing a curbside, laying the right amount of asphalt, validating a slope or documenting the result. There are many ways uh, to get the job done, but the right digital workflow will optimize time, cost, uh, or rework issues. And that's what we are um, heavily working on. Same for you, Katie? Yeah, actually building on that, what Christian said, I mean, traditionally the building construction trade is quite conservative. And uh, I think this year, especially the digitalization has been really, uh, I would say, accelerated in this uh, time due to just the need of productivity and also reduced access to job sites. And um, coming back to your question on what we offer to that industry is that we provide a complete ecosystem where our users can actually um, you know, 
more or less pick and choose from sensors and, uh, and software solutions and also tie into market leading standards. Christian mentioned the BIM, of course, this is a key point for everybody just managing the data and the information and having a real time um, verification of what's going on in the field, in the office and, and back. And, um, and I think this is something, especially in these times, productivity and efficiency has become even more important than maybe even before. Can you give uh, some specific examples of uh, where hexagon technologies have been used on construction sites? I mean, there are so many different working activities and, and levels and uh, yeah, just tell us about that. Well, as you said, where to start, huh? Yeah. So um, <laughs> we, we are on construction. Let's look at an eight. average construction site. I mean, how could it be average? <laughs> sure. Um, I think building structures, you know, be it now concrete or woodwork or steel framing, um, everybody has and every, everywhere there's a need for accuracy and uh, to make sure that the data is reliable and to be able to take decisions where we can be most effective. So this means in the field or in the office. And I think there exactly when we're looking at our uh, Leica icon portfolio that we have, which is our complete suite for the building construction industry, to have the possibility of sensors like total stations and the software suite to that to be able to on-site do the layouting, verification, transfer that back to the office, actually throughout the entire um, workflow of the building. And I think one part to say they're not just in the design, engineering and construction phase, but actually also throughout the life cycle of a building, which also goes into the operation maintenance phase as well. Christian, you have to add anything? Yeah, I, um, I give you one example. I can remember a very nice project we recently had in Norway. It was a 43 kilometer expansion of the E6 motorway in Norway. The contractor has been Hare, one of our biggest machine control customer with uh, more than 300 construction machines equipped with um, our machine control solutions. The majority of these machines are excavators, drillers for blasting and soil compactors. And they are also using a lot of our survey equipment, as Katie mentioned before, for stakeout, volume measurements, and for instance, asphalt checks. So on the job site, the excavators would dig down to the rocky surface, and they do, ha and they do have a lot of um, um, rocks in Norway. Then following the digitally defined drilling pattern, drill rigs are then used to drill holes into the rock for the blasting. Um, the drilling patterns are automatically sent via our cloud solution to the machine, so that saves them a lot of time. So from data from the office uh, to the field, um, and then the machine control solution would then guide the drill rig to the exact location where the drilling needs to take place. So, for instance, no surveyor on site is needed to mark the location like it used to be in the past. Um, and by that, that made the project and the machine itself about 50% more pro uh, productive and mistakes can be avoided. And to, to finalize, to uh, describe the project a little bit, after the blasting, the debris rock is used as road fill. So the soil compactors and excavators equipped with our machine control solution are used then for building in the material and for compacting or for the compaction of the ground to avoid that the grouse, uh, ground would freeze then in the winter. Um, now, the nice thing in this project has also been that the work process the machine has done was automatically locked by our software and the data was sent back to the office. So for instance, the information um, or the project manager in the office can not only immediately see the progress uh, on the site, but also use can use the data as as-built quality documentation, which then can be sent to the building authority to prove that it has been built on specification. So that's just one example of a typical road project in Norway, but it has been a very nice project where IO technology could help a lot uh, to be on time, on specification, on a budget for the project. I see Katie has also another idea where the technology can solve more problems. Give us also some <laughs> practical insights, <laughs> as just Christian did. This was very interesting. Yes, sure. And I think one part to just also uh, liaise to what Christian said is that we are enabling uh, non-surveyors on job sites to do the tasks. And this, yep. of course, comes down to uh, the solutions that we offer, which 
course, you need to understand the application, but it, it's intuitive. Huh? So the, the sensor and the, the software solution is something that can be done on the job site by many people, which, of course, means there is no downtime. You don't have to wait for the surveyor to come on site. You have the possibility to just perform as you go. And I think all of us know that especially logistics on job sites is some of the big challenges. Um, not really knowing when concrete pouring will be finished and, um, you know, the material is there or the teams are delayed. And this gives a lot of flexibility, of course. I think especially when we're talking um, concrete pouring, because that's something which is critical. Um, it has to happen when it's planned and uh, and you can really you know generate a lot of waste or delays if you cannot perform the tasks. And I think in that sense, really, this is um, coming back to the ecosystem that we provide. It's kind of a more of a holistic solution that we can provide to the job site with many different stakeholders that can tie into a workflow. Do you see, um, do you, when we have a close look into the future, I mean, you just mentioned so many examples for the digitalization, for more and more data, machine software at the construction site. When we look at the future, um, so where is the construction industry going? You just mentioned models with BIM and connectivity and more data. Um, yeah, where is the future going in the construction industry? I think to there is not a simple answer to that, I would say, huh? because it depends also a little bit in which markets we are looking. Some are more advanced than others. But I think in general, um, generating data is something that has been happening already since, I would say, decades. And the, 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 the key point from the building industry side is clearly to make that data digestible for the users. And this is, I think, is one of the, the key parts going forward where more people want to access data, where maybe before they were, I would say, too hesitant because of you know, point clouds and just overwhelmed, which now there's really an openness of the construction people to have access and to take the decisions themselves which comes back to us as a um, solution provider to make sure that we can tailor the information as needed, which of course is something which um, is not simple to do. Uh, it requires an absolute understanding of the workflow. So to, to answer in short, the applications will be the same. Um, I think more users will become more digital and have also the requirements to get access to data and to generate data and to make sure that uh, the data is accurate and reliable so that decisions can be taken. I think there's going to be a productivity gain in the industry that we have not seen before. Yeah, so this is what you want to underline, Christian, or if anything else? Yeah, yeah, I totally agree what Kate, uh, Katie just said. And uh, uh, thinking about the future on a construction side, of course, we, we could um, talk about that for hours. Um, but I think uh, really as a, to me, uh, for the heavy construction industry, as a summary, I think uh, we will have three main technology drivers, which we already do have in place today, but I think they will develop further and um, ha will help the construction industry um, to become more productive. One is, as we mentioned before, is the digitalization. That means more concretely, as said before, that sensors do capture exact location data, that software process processes the data to become, as Katie said, meaningful and data flows that connect the right people, machines and objects. But because at the end of the day, what will be more and more important that, for instance, the site engineer, the project manager can, well, you could say even in real time, can see what has been done um, on, on, on site and what needs to be done next. Um, Another level is then, um, or let, we call it the next step of the of machine control or machine automation. That means that the operators will have less and less functions to do, and the construction machine itself will get more and more autonomous. And maybe in the future, we, will, we already do see it in mining today, but even on the construction sites, um, there might be no operator anymore and the, on the machines, and some machines will be completely autonomous. And to me, a third driver is the generation of point clouds so that the physical reality on site becomes um, a so-called, we call it digital twin, um, to be able to visualize uh, the project progress um, in real time. But of course, that the construction industry is accepting and adopting these technologies, as Katie said before, our solutions need to be simple or easy to use. They need to be um, compatible to the existing ecosystems they are having and um, our solution 
needs to be a true fact of simplicity so that also non-surveyors or generalists can work with our solution. The impact for the industry will be definitely that they are more profitable. It will be, will be good for the industry because that would all mean less hours, better quality on site, less resources needed and a lower risk on the construction site. Um, well, I'm part of the Intergeo communication team and of course we only have a few weeks, I mean even more days to go until Intergeo 2020 will start in a purely digital edition. And yeah, let's, let's use the chance also to make some visitors to uh, Hexagon curious what they can expect for the construction um, software, what will you present there um, at Intergeo 2020? Um, can you give us a short description or insight? So you would like a sneak preview huh, from that? Okay. Well, from, from the construction software side, clearly to show how we can um, stitch together uh, sensors that we already have and had you know, since many years in the, in the organization with a software workflow that is really very tailored to the user group, as Christian mentioned before, huh? understanding kind of the simplicity and um, the ability also to enable more people to work and use the data that is provided and to be able to take decisions. I think this coupled with uh, visualization, which comes back to the users, now we're all humans, so we, we think in graphics or in pictures, and this is clearly something where we will be able to show really Act, uh, examples and the workflows, how we can already today enable with the offerings that we have. Christians, you also want to say something to the visitors of Intergeo 2020 and the Hexagon booth, the digital booth and the presentations and lectures. Yeah, K Katie, Katie has just, uh, she has just said it. Uh, there is nothing more to add from my side. It's really what we are focusing on because we understand uh, the workflow on a construction site. Now, what we are trying to do is to, to bring everything together, to make it easy to send data from the office to the field, data from the field back to the office, so that everyone involved in the construction process is always up to date, that it, we make it easy for um, the foreman, for the site engineer, for the project manager to analyze the data, to see what happened, um, yeah, at the end to become more productive um, on site. Thank you very much. And for all of you, meet Hexagon Live at Intergeo Digital 2020. And dear Katie, dear Christian, thank you very much for this interesting tech talk about the construction industry. And um, yeah, I hope to see you from the 13th to the 15th of October and you will join us too, of course. Well, thank you. Thank you. Bye.